vicious cycles. When the shame of what I've done hits me like a blow one more useless time, I feel the trap of an endless cycle which I despise but can never escape. Once again, I realize that I do not control the foolish poison that I have spewed and wish so hard that I not always have to turn out this silly way. Afterwards, I move about without the fire in a juvenile shame for several days thereafter. Then I reach the point where I believe that it could not occur again. More time passes, and I live what I perceive to be a pretty normal life. And gradually, my emotions begin their slow rebirth once more. There is less and less depression, and easy laughter lightens all loads. The memories of my former acts seem very far away indeed. I begin to believe, without knowing it, that things will finally go my way. Brimming with self-confidence, I face the problems of my days. Looking back, it seems that I really have at last learned that simple lesson. Now I live without the shame that follows so quickly upon my foolish anger. Then one day, indeed, it's not ever very long, I'm in some simple situation. And before I know it, the bell rings again, and, as always, I must answer. Right or wrong, it does not matter. My responses are always inappropriate. Loud and obnoxious, I willingly reject all I thought that I had learned. Eager in just a brief moment to accept that age-old urge to battle. Quite in spite of the fact that I know it never does me any good at all. I notice, but easily ignore, the not-so-subtle cues in each of these situations. The thought of being disrespected leading to a faster heart rate. The flush that creeps up my face and the dilation of my eyes. Things I know are my own worst enemies, but by then, it's far too late. Part of me watches helplessly, simply cataloging the errors that I repeat. Part of me grows yet angrier, just knowing that I am losing control once again. My rationality becomes impaired, and my judgment is affected. I cannot present my arguments in a clear or effective manner. In the back of my mind, I know that things are going badly, and then somehow I realize that I must have nothing left to lose. I give up all good hope and toss off my thin veil of civility altogether. And at that point, I do not really care anymore. Fuck whatever happens. Then it becomes a contest of sharp phrases and aggressive body language, of the struggle not of mind, but of emotions and ill will. There is no real pleasure in this pointless conflict behavior, but there never seems to be a way for me to escape them gracefully. Toe to toe we stand, exchanging insults instead of information, unable to communicate anything more than a powerful subconscious hatred. Finally something breaks the spell and it is over for another time. A brief triumphal interlude ensues in which I am glad to be alive. Then comes the brutal truth of the redundant stupidity of my angry actions. And at that point, the foolish cycle begins again, and I see blackly that there is no escape.